A blessed good morning to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to today's devotion with Father Christian. Alleluia, Christ is risen, the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for today, Friday 14th May, is written in the letter to the Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through chapter 5, verse 6. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who, is, who in every respect has been tested, as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of God, the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Every high priest, chosen from among mortals, is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their, on their behalf, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with the ignorant and wayward, since he himself is subject to weakness. And because of this, he must offer sacrifice for his own sins, as well as for those of the people. And one does not presume to take this honor, but takes it only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A recurring theme in this epistle is that of Jesus as our high priest. He has been described as a high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses. For the Jews, the high priest, despite his personal defects, was a sacred person protecting the people from the punishment deserved by their sins. The people needed not only leaders to govern them, but an advocate before God. Aaron, Moses' brother, the first priest of the Jews, had been such a man. His successors, the high priests, were to be the same. My friends, this idea is developed here. The high priest is the people's representative before God, and he must be weak as they are, but accepted by God. Christ is just that and perfectly so. As humanity's representative, he intercedes for us before God. As God's representative, he assures us of God's forgiveness. Jesus has more authority than the Jewish high priest because he is truly God and truly man. Unlike the high priest who could go before God only once a year, Christ is always at God's right hand, interceding for us. He is always available to hear us when we pray. Fellow sojourners, Jesus knows what it means to be human. So we can come with bold confidence to the throne of grace. We can be sure that he will extend us mercy when we fail and will provide help to meet our need when we require strength to overcome as he did. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. <coughs> Excuse me. Our oh, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The collect for the sixth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. O God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, O Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretch out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Into your hands, Lord, we commend ourselves this day. Let your presence be with us to its close, strengthen us to remember that in whatever good work we do, we are serving you. Give us a diligent and watchful spirit that we may seek in everything to know your will, and knowing it may gladly perform it to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Do have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend, my friends. God be with you till we meet again.